Do you know how Operation Cobalt happened at the beginning of The Walking Dead? The famous operation we heard about at the beginning of the main show and fear The Walking Dead. Yeah, how did the government act at the beginning of the outbreak? What was the strategy? What were the stages of this operation? Well, in this video I will explain everything we know so far about the Operation Cobalt and if you wanna know, stay here and let's go. Hello everyone who watching this beautiful channel, my name is Ron Victor and I'm here, I'm back to talk about The Walking Dead universe again, because you have really enjoyed the previous videos explaining everything, the stories and more, so thank you for the feedback and as I promised it, I'm bringing you the explanation about this operation. I already talked about the military, the theories about how they were destroyed, but I didn't talk all the details about this Operation Cobalt. There are many things that are not clear about that. Yeah, but first don't forget to check the like in this video, it's very important, helps me a lot. And also if you like more content about The Walking Dead, don't forget to subscribe here. Thank you for your support, thank you for your patience with my English, let's go. Yeah, here's the point. Here in this channel, every time we talk about the beginning of the apocalypse on The Walking Dead, it's inevitable that we show images like this. Cities being devastated, blown up with bomb attacks, which is what happened mainly there in Atlanta and Los Angeles in the Walking Dead universe. We also, from the other shows, like the ones who leave, we know that there are many other cities. But yeah, this is part of the Operation Cobalt. And also there's more. So let's go. How did I get to this point? Right away the zombie outbreak started, they bombed everyone. No, it wasn't quite that. There were several things that happened before that I need to explain here. Yeah, in this case we have a photo showing some document of a several ones that have appeared on the Walking Dead show. And it includes the main show, the spin-offs, the web episodes, and especially this document shows a little about the orders that the military received. There's details, pieces, frames, photos, which even had some revelations of the production. Also, there were some pictures came from the marketing of The Walking Dead, from Instagram, Facebook, revealing a lot of this strategy documents. And yeah, through these images, documents, and lines that we have in the various shows of The Walking Dead, we can understand what was the step-by-step -step of what happened. So let's make it simple in this video. Let's start with the first point, day zero, the beginning of the zombie outbreak, the entire population, the city being taken over by zombies, what happened there, what was the first stage? From there the government realized the serious situation, realized that everything was bad and activated the Operation Cobalt, which was already a project, which had been prepared there since before, as well as countries like United States in real life. Everyone knows that in real life there are some covert, extreme operations for situations like that. Yeah, so the first step was to choose the safe areas, which is something we see little more in Fear the Walking Dead. Within these safe areas, we also have the military bases, like the famous Fort Banning, which was a military base that they talked about so much in the first season after leaving Atlanta, mostly in the main show. Seeing that there was nothing left there in Atlanta, the CDC explosion, they see that it will be a good place to go. Yeah, this is one of the safe places, but also they choose some new safe areas. On the outskirts of cities, in peripheral zones, isolated city neighborhoods, with gates, with bars, with walls. We see more of that in the first season of Fear the Walking Dead, so with that we have to go to the second step of this operation. From this we have the assembly of the base and the creation of a medical facilities on this base. They cleaned up the region, prepared the places that needs it, and built these medical facilities. This happens before the population and survivors getting there. Yeah, all the military is still preparing the place, this was done in hours obviously, but then we go to the third step, which then starts to get more critical, because we have the arrival of the people. With the arrival of the population, the survivors, methods are needed. Caution is necessary, because they are dealing with this disease, an infection that is not yet fully known what it is. In this first moment, it's not known how the person could have infected, and all other things. So medical screening is required. So the step 3 of Operation Cobalt is the detention of the survivors for symptom assessment, for health assessment, to see if they have any symptoms of infection, if they have any situation that can show that the person can turn into a zombie. Yeah, we know that not all the places in the United States followed this 100%, but in fear we can see one of those places. Like, certainly in the regions around Atlanta in the beginning this happened. If the survivors, the group from the camp of the first season, they got there from Fort Benning, even if it was still standing, they would certainly go through this. They would be arrested, kept surrounded by bars, so that everyone could go through these tests, everyone go through this situation. In fear, in Los Angeles, we saw Strand, Nick, there like that, they passed through this situation. So okay, from that it was three steps. People are already there, survivors have already arrived, at least they are in a safe place. Like he's arrested by the military but he's safe. But then 
then what is the fourth step? Yeah, step four is the hardest thing for people to start facing. It's basically eliminate the infected and incinerate their bodies. Yeah, from the survivors who were trapped there, even if they are with the families and everything, with some hope, yeah, basically the rule is that they have to be exterminated. So the Operation Cobalt rule explains that they kill them for a humanitarian cause to prevent the rest of humanity to die. This is basically the justification. And this is the step four of Operation Cobalt. Yeah, until now it's very sinister, but there's more, much more. We move on because it continues with the population accept and established. Step five involves a resumption strategy. Start a strategy now to try to envision some recovery of the city. The strategy is always to try to expand the safe zone as much as possible, to expand the area until they recover the city. And expanding means the military getting out of the safe zone, clearing areas, killing some zombies, which for sure, if you think about it, most cases and large cities in the United States will take months for this to happen. Yeah, it was at this stage, stage 5, and in the stage 6 that the things started to go bad. Most places, most safe areas started to go bad there. Basically, in this expansion project, the mission is to eliminate all zombies outside the safe zone. So the military themselves begin to die in the surrounding. You know, outside the safe zones, and the zombies begin to take more. The survivors themselves try to do this, and the zombies took over the safe zone. It's literally an expansion strategy that goes bad for everyone. And it's bad there in Fear the Walking Dead too. And starting from that, you know, the government before the apocalypse, before the outbreak, knowing that in a situation like this, in the stage 5, this expansion strategy could go wrong, knowing about the risks, based on that we have the last step of the Operation Kobo. Something already warned the military before the outbreak. So be prepared for the contingency plan. Yeah, the bombs. It's part of the last phase of the Operation Cobalt, which is a phase like this. It will only do this if necessary. But in most of the cases, in most of the cities in the United States, in this universe of The Walking Dead, it were necessary. And based on that, you can ask, oh, you know, if there's a city in this universe that managed to survive and did Operation Cobalt work there for the military? If it was through Operation Cobalt, we don't know so far. It is possible. But we have the Civic Republic of Philadelphia itself, which is the city that we see in The Walking Dead, the ones who leave, Rick and Michonne spin-off, the city that the CRM commands, the group that took Rick, a big city that has more than 200,000 people, even years after the outbreak, which has the military ramifications and it's led by a military group. I won't give many spoilers about the one to leave, but there some things change about this military leadership. But there we go, in addition, we have two other points that was part of these three circles. The second one was the city of Omaha, which is seen in World Beyond, has hundred thousands people and such. Although Major General Bill orders to Civic Republic military to kill everyone to destroy the city. But I have to say that the city managed to survive the beginning of the outbreak. Before this destruction, they were there. Probably the Operation Cobalt worked there. They did not need the last stage of bombing. In the third city that we have to mention here, that is also part of this alliance with Civic Republic, is Portland. Yeah, another fully walled city around, which probably has more than 100,000 people, which this Operation Cobalt must have worked there too, because they are still there, even after the ones who leave, they are still there. Okay, but in this video I said the cities that probably worked, but what about the ones that didn't? What was the contingency plan like? Because I just said, the last stage was bombing, but it's not only that, it's not exactly that. The contingency plan has a few steps. There are three steps, yeah, the first one, and that's where it's cruel, very cruel, basically the orders here is to exterminate all the individuals in the medical facilities, even if they are healthy. In this case, also the people who are in the safe areas, in the quarantine zone. The first order for the militaries in this contingency plane is to kill everyone there. And we see this order in Fear the Walking Dead. It's the same order that the military receives in the base there in the first season. Obviously, some must have had the resistance. Several places must have had some different stories and results. Yeah, this is the first step of the contingency plane. And what is the second step? Yeah, in the second step, all units must withdraw during the night. So as not to cause panic in the rest of the civilian population. They killed the civilians who were there in their power, tried to leave as soon as possible at night without causing panic in others, such as those who were outside the contingency zone, who were there in the city. Exactly, the military leave alone there. Totally, this contingency plane there is focused only on the survival of the military. It takes all the priority away from the civilians and focuses on them, on the military. Yeah, I told you the second step, according to this contingency plane. Let's go to the step 3. If they did 
the second step right, they were evacuated. And in the step three, the infected zones will be bombed to destroy the zombies and stop the outbreak. Exactly, the bombs that we know, that we know from The Walking Dead. This is the contingency plan of Operation Cobalt. This is because everything did wrong. And yeah, in the future, we probably get to know other places in this universe, especially cities in the United States, which managed to survive. It will be amazing to see the stories of how Operation Cobalt took place in those cities. That's why there are spin-offs, that's why there are tales of The Walking Dead, the anthological show that the second season is already confirmed. And yeah, the main point is that the Operation Cobalt is only inside the United States. If you watch the Daryl spin-off, it takes place in France. There it was another story. There was probably another plan from the government that also didn't work. In fact, I highly recommend you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any reviews, any explanations about this universe of The Walking Dead. There will be another spin-offs, there will be another other shows and other seasons from Daryl Dixon spin-off from Dead City. There will be more about Rick Grimes in the future and I will be here to explain everything in this channel. Also, don't forget to check the like, it helps me a lot. Thank you for watching, I'll be back soon and bye!